Ben Gurion, one of the founders of Israel, and not known to be a religious person, uh, piously remarked that God cannot change the past. Then he added, the only ones who can change the past are those that write memoirs. <laughs> but there was a pastoral concern on the part of the 2,500 bishops that who are these others that were living? It was a pastoral concern about not just the church and the world, but the world and the church. Who are these people? Who are these others? Uh, those others that are not uh, Catholic who are Christian. How do we relate? How does the church relate to the various uh, Christian communities, whether they be Anglican, Protestant, uh, or Orthodox? Uh, but the other question is, how do we uh, relate to others who are not Christian? Um, uh, primarily to the Jews at first, but then also it began to include everyone. When Pope John set up the Secretary for Christian Unity, plus a Secretariat for Communications, he called together 35 to 40 people, uh, bishop members and consultants, start drawing up a draft. They came up with a document it was 42 pages long, and all of the footnotes were of papal encyclicals. So it was a very heavy commission and a very lengthy document. I had to read through those things, and so I remember on that document uh, saying that the, the worst thing about it is that at the end of, it, of each of its statements, there was, like the old councils, if anyone says something to the contrary, they're censured. But the whole tone of the of the, of the preparatory document uh, was, um, we want religious freedom. We have the right to say what we want, publish what we want. Nothing about the freedom of the press for others. And it's a kind of like a PR evangelization unit in order to inform the world what is morally correct. Uh, so it would be an attack against uh, any kind of immorality in films or that. It's kind of a negative thing. Uh, but to me, it was more the tone of, uh, it's, not, uh, it's not listening, it's not listening also to what the media is saying about the church. Uh, even if it's wrong, that perception is out there. You have to deal with it. It was like a one-way a one -way voice coming from the church to the media. The University of Notre Dame confers a degree of Doctor of Laws, honoris causa, on a border-crossing priest who, attentive to the movement of the Holy Spirit in our time and with the zeal characteristic of St. Paul, his community's patron, has been a bridge builder of unusual intellectual courage throughout his illustrious career. As a highly respected official of the Roman Curia during the Second Vatican Council, he guided the Catholic Church's historic deliberations on the deepening of its relationship. First to the Jewish people, and then to all non-Christian believers. The Rector Emeritus of the Tantur Ecumenical Institute in Jerusalem, which was a great dream of Pope Paul VI and Father Theodore Hesburgh, and a past president of the Paulist Fathers, he has joined his extraordinary ministry to Christ's prayer that all may be one. On Reverend Thomas Francis Stransky, CSP, Washington, District of Columbia. <laughs> 